Hey guys, it's Jasmine Ubrow, artist. So what is the most popular question I get asked on eyebrows? It's actually the ends. <laughs> that is the most popular question. So I've done so many tutorials on it, but you know what? Why not do some more? And this time I'm showing you guys two different types of brow ends that are most popular and that would probably go with most of you guys. So it's a good thing I have an old brow tattoo because I put a concealer over it, right? So that way I can show you guys using both my eyebrows with two different styles. So we're going to get started with this right side right here. This side I'm going to use to show you guys how to um, do that kind of curved soft arch that probably will go with most of you guys. Now, if you're Asian or more with a flatter eyelid and you have a wide space, you want more of a straighter um, arch more of a straighter tail right here. So I'm gonna use this side of the eyebrow to show you guys that. Okay, so you guys ready? First of all, you wanna make your marks because when you make your mark or measure the eyebrows, it makes it so much easier, right? Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys this side of the eyebrow and um, in that curved soft arch, but it's mainly about that end, right? So how do you fill in that end with making that arch look like it's balanced for you? Right? Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna use the pinch of the nose, corner of the eye right over here. This is where my arch is. So I'm gonna make that kind of line right over here. It's real faint. You can make it dark. You can always remove that later, right? Okay, so the end of the eyebrow, the important area, right? Side of the nose, corner of the eye, straight up. This is how far the brow should end. So you don't wanna go past that. Trust me, because that is about your face. It's about the facial shape and how good um, the brow can look with that. It's not about always getting that great brow end or how perfect it can be. It's about matching with your face, which is why measuring from your uh, measuring is really important, right? Okay, so I'm gonna use a brush and a powder. You can use that pencil, but because I put that concealer on earlier, I don't wanna disturb that. I'm gonna use both Anastasia Beverly Hills products, brush 7B, it's an angle brush. And of course it has a spoolie, which is always important because if you go on too dark, you could always go over that with this brush and it just tones everything down. And the Ash Brown Dual Brow Powder by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now this has two different shades. I'm gonna use a darker side because I'm doing the ends and I want the ends to be a little bit darker. So there's a dark and a medium to light shade on both of this powder. So I'm gonna use a darker side. So you guys, now since I've made those measurements, it makes it so much easier. So here's how easy it can be. Okay, so find your first front of your eyebrow, right? You want, once you find that, you probably, you guys hopefully have much more hair than I do. So that's probably why I said find it. Okay, so use your front of the, or the middle part of your eyebrow, direct your pencil or your brush, and go towards that arch or that first or second mark right over here. Just make a little line. Don't make it so complicated right now. Just make that little line connected to that arched area. The other area, of course, is your end, which is what we're here for how to do the ends, right? So what you wanna do is direct your brush or pencil going further down this way, but not go past that first line. So you wanna go on the outside. I don't like to go so close to the eyelid. I wanna go more on the outside, meaning you want more of that kind of brow lift, right? And if you drag the uh, ends too far close to the eyelid here, it shortens your eye, um, eye and it just kind of squishes your face in. You want more of that kind of lift look. So trust me on this, try it out if you haven't already. You wanna go towards the end, but you're gonna drag the brush going down to that mark right here. So you get kind of that kind of curved look, right? Okay, so you're going with that curved look, just like so. And now on the bottom, you wanna go more straighter just to add that extra mark. It's much easier to do that as opposed to building on that curve. So you wanna go underneath that curve and go in a straight line, just like so, like that, okay? Now you've made your outline right at that tip. You wanna drag it down a little bit again, and then you're filling it inside just in that area right there. So you already see the difference, right? Just filling in this area right here, 
you could already see that difference now in that arched area you want to go up more higher and higher and higher curve it up right so you want to curve right in that area and this is how you get more of that kind of softer arch with making sure that the ends are where it's supposed to be and then at once i've done that that's when i go up in the front and just kind of apply some light color right up in the front wherever i feel like i need it when you look at yourself in the mirror and you're just kind of tapping some color because you've already done that end, it actually makes it easier to fill in the rest of the eyebrow so definitely try the end first before you even go and apply some more color on your eyebrows okay so then it just makes more sense right grab more color go a little bit more down right here but again don't pass that mark that you made earlier and then right here you can always curve it a tiny bit but everything is in a curved motion while keeping a little bit a tiny bit straighter at the same time because you don't want it so round to where it looks like kind of a, a C you want more of that kind of mooned a little curved that's always going to be a bit softer and it's more complimentary I think and try it out if you haven't and you'll see what I mean by it being a bit more um, attractive on your face okay so I erased that mark and that's pretty good right it has that kind of curved look it's not really harsh and straight okay so this side of the eyebrow I usually wear mine sometimes I wear it like this I can actually get away with it a little bit as long as the front is a little bit more straighter it's okay if it's a little bit more curved but for those of you with a wider eyelid uh, Asian eyebrows maybe or Asian um, eyelid it's better if it's a little bit straighter because you don't want to cut down the tail or the ends too far down because imagine like a flat a surface right or a paper and you're you're making the line going straight down it just doesn't look good an overall picture for your face because this is what it's all about right the brows ends need to balance with your face as well it's not just about I want to have that kind of brow arch or end like her or her it's about what best suits your face and also what's current and what again ultimately what looks best for you okay so I'm gonna make that mark again right here at the uh, the arched area is the um, the pinch of the nose right here the corner of the iris right up here that is where your arch is right and then the side of the nose and the corner of the eye this is how far the brow should end of course I over exaggerated the mark but that's okay because it's still faint <laughs> okay so let's grab some color and I'm gonna do kind of the similar uh, direction I did with this one on this side and I'm just going to um, do the do the side of the eyebrow where we all have a little bit of a harder problem, right? Because if you're right-handed, you probably do that side a little better. <laughs> so on this side, you just know that the pressure is really also about the pressure of the color. So if you press a little harder, it's going to go on a little darker. So touch lightly first to kind of get the feel of the land, okay? So do what I did on this side as far as finding your front of the or the middle of the eye, eyebrow and then just go in that straight line now you want to go straight line and go towards that arch area making just a little line now any of you guys can do that right you can make a little line in an angle not straight across but just kind of in an angle like so see that okay now you're going to do the ends same thing but you're not going to go down and curve like i did on this side you're going to go more of a straight line going out but not going past that last um, mark now you can also even stay shorter than with that uh, corner mark you made or you can just go right at that mark i will go probably a little bit shorter i like a brow lift <laughs> and to have a shorter and kind of gives you that little brow lift if i look at you straight like this right okay so i'm going straight everything's about more of a straight kind of application like straight angle line here and straight angle out then i'm going to go underneath and do the same thing straight except right here i'm going to go straight across and not curve it like i did on the other side so it's going to go more straight and then i film the inside this is how easier it can be so once you make that outline it's really easy to fill inside right so stay inside that outline 
And then what you can do is now at this point, that's when you go up in the front and see what you need. Like I said to you with this side, that when you do the ends first, it makes it so much easier to film the rest of the eyebrow. So you just go up in the front. You can see if you want to go a little higher here, a little lower here. But you, uh, assuming you have more hair up in the front and not much at the end, you can just kind of go over your hair right up in the front. Now, I like to go a little higher here. And then this right here, you can curve it if you like, but keep the bottom area a bit straighter. Okay, so that's, it's going to just give it more of a balanced look for your face. Try it out, I promise. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to erase that mark right here. Erase it right here. And just kind of go back and forth. You guys could really see the difference, right? Now, it's subtle, but this one has that more of that curved, right? Again, you want to curve. And this one, you want to go straight. So this is the most common uh, question I get asked. I hope this helps you guys. Try it out. Let me know if it worked for you here. Make sure you subscribe because when you do that, you do get my latest tips. And I love showing you guys all the things that I've learned for doing the eyebrows for, gosh, over 25 years now. So thank you for supporting me. And I will see you guys right back here. Thank you.